Brother Swaggart, what did you mean by the term unique? After I answer this, I propose, if it's not out of order, that we make this the last question. We've been here two and a half hours. Oh, I'm sorry. Very good. Fine. Um, they're paying him by the hour. They're not paying me at all. <laughs> but I got $100, though. <laughs> in the Greek translation, in the, let me change it, in the original Greek, the word unique simply meaning different than any that there had ever been. There has never been one like the Son of God. He's unique. And there has never been one like Mary that produced the Son of God, as he eloquently explained just a moment ago. It just simply means there was never one before him like that. There will never be one after him like that. He was unique as God's own Son manifest in the flesh. And incidentally, we Christians don't believe in three gods. We don't believe that God is married and lives in an apartment in heaven and has a bunch of children. We don't believe and teach such foolishness as that. We believe that out of love, God Almighty con condescended to come down here on this planet and live among men and to walk and talk among men and in human form, the incarnation, to die on Calvary's cross as the perfect sin offering for mankind. Man helpless to save himself. And he did just that. And he told the people, you kill this body and in three days I will raise it up again. Once again, he was unique in that. He was unique in, his, in the prophecies. He was unique in his birth. He was unique in his life. He was unique in his miracles. He was unique in his ministry. He was unique in his death. He was unique in his resurrection. He was unique in his ascension. And when he comes back, he will be unique in his coming again.